Hey there. Getting ready to start on a new build with a bunch of the uh, new electronics from iFlight, the success, success, whatever line of electronics from iFlight, and um, building another XL5 V3. Uh, this one is going to be a 5S model with my new 2208. 2150 kV Zing motors and this is the new uh, 60 amp 4 in 1 um, definitely overkill for this build but uh, it is a gorgeous 4 in 1 ESC <coughs> with um, a, it's a 32 bit ESC and it is rated for 60 amps constant, but I, they don't have the burst rating listed. I would guess it's probably at least 75 amp burst, but uh, 60 amps constant is more than I need anyway. <clears throat> and it's a 32 bit ESC with uh, metal MOSFETs, and um, it's, it has a bunch of caps on it. Like, it, this should be a super clean, um, super clean ESC. They, say that you don't actually need a cap on it unless you're uh, running 6S. So, yeah, I don't know, I might, I might put a little one on anyway just because I'm kind of in that habit these days, but it doesn't hurt to have one on there. So, so yeah, I'm using this uh, 60 amp 4-in-1 and this is the new Success F7 twin gyro flight controller here and uh, yeah this is awesome this is actually going to be my first F7 flight controller um, so yeah this, uh, pretty excited to get this thing on there and I've got the the new force 1 watt VTX I don't know if you can see, but I've been conformal coding everything and getting ready to do this build today. So, <clears throat> yeah. And this is a really nice looking BTX with a pretty cool um, heat sink. Um, this will, I don't know, this will be sort of a medium range freestyle rig for me. I am going to use the R9 mini receiver on here. So, um, and I'll be running uh, 5S. So, if I wanted to, I could throw some like 5131s on there and a 1500 milliamp hour 5S and actually um, get some pretty good flight times out of this thing. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. I just wanted to give you a quick peek at my new build before I get it all together. Super excited to be using all these fancy new electronics from iFlight. Um, this company has just, they keep progressing at such a, uh, constant rate that over the last couple of years, I've, you know, been able to watch them go from having, uh, basically a frame or two and a set of motors and then a set of ESCs then a couple more frames and another set of motors and another set of ESCs. So and every iteration, each new generation has been better and better and the carbon keeps getting better and the quality keeps getting better. So I'm, I'm super excited about the new electronics and especially this VTX actually because um, that's the only thing I had never, I didn't have very good luck with the Force uh, VTXs in the past. I know lots of people did, lots of people loved them, but I just uh, had bad experience with, experiences with them. So that's like the only um, iFlight product I haven't used for a while now, but I know they have a new designer, and I've seen a lot of this guy's work, I looked him up, and I've seen stuff he has done for other people, and um, he's a really sharp designer, he does really nice work, so, uh, yeah, as long as the QC is on point with this stuff, all these new electronics should be absolutely uh, top of the line. Doing another build. This is going to be a uh, that side? a race 
rig for me. This is a um, IX5 V3, and I've just sort of been tinkering around, fitting stuff in there. But um, that's the um, Success uh, 20 by 20 mini flight stack, 35 amp, four and one. And in my stack, there is a 20 by 20 F7 in there. So I'm super pumped to try that out. And the stack is really slick. Everything just uh, pins in together as you're stacking it up. And has a 200 uh, milliwatt VTX on there. And I, I think I'm actually just going to keep this uh, little whip antenna on here just because this is going to be a. I'm trying to keep it just a lightweight, real simple race build. Um, if you haven't seen the V3 uh, of the IX5 yet, this is really impressive. Like, this is super, super nice. Like, I've had every uh, different version of the IX5, and the first ones, I broke five of them, literally, um, within a few months' time. They were, uh, the carbon was awful. The next ones were a little bit better, but the carbon was still flexible. Like, it didn't break as easy, but it was kind of flexible. Uh, this stuff is primo. This carbon right here is absolutely premium carbon. I'm super psyched. You see, I did a little, uh, I don't know, I was bored last night. I colored the edges on this one. I did it on this uh, little IX3 light as well. This is the little baby version of that frame right there. Yeah, super cute. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is going to be my uh, upcoming race build here. I, I'm going to just be running this on 4S with my old uh, 2207-2450KB tachyons for now. These are well used, but um, they still work fine. Uh, although I would like eventually to upgrade to the 2207 Zing, or maybe the 2206 even, and just try and keep this build as light as possible. But um, yeah, I mean, this isn't like a super lightweight race frame. The I IX5 I really consider more of a sport frame because it's perfectly good for freestyle and it's perfectly good for racing. It's not not the lightest, it's not the heaviest, you know, but it's pretty rugged and it's definitely a good practice frame. It has um, excellent flight characteristics. I just that was the, you know what made me fall in love with this frame. That's why I kept breaking them over and over and over again because I just it was, at that time, my favorite uh, frame that I had flown. So, yeah, you, and you can mount the battery on top if you want, battery on bottom if you want, and yeah, it's um, it's really, it's a slick little frame, and um, yeah, IX5 V3, definitely recommend it. This carbon is far superior to the uh, past couple of versions of this frame. So yeah, that's uh, that's what's coming up. I, I'm gonna work on my 5S build today, and because uh, I think I have everything I need for that. I think for this one, I'm, actually I might have everything I need for this. I just um, need to dig up a camera, and I'm gonna be using um, some LED race wire type biz that iFlight has. It has like 17 LEDs in it, so. Um, yeah, this thing should uh, be lit up like a freaking Christmas tree by the time I'm done with it. So, yeah, there we go. Is there anything else that I needed to show you? I think that was it. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, this is what I'm working on right now. And I, I think I've got some more stuff, but um, that's for an upcoming video. And also stay tuned for a giveaway announcement because I have a bunch of stuff, props and straps and frames and other stuff to give away, and I'm going to start doing like weekly giveaways, and I have a pretty neat idea on how to do it, so I'm going to, I'll have a giveaway announcement video coming up soon, which will explain the future giveaways that I have planned. So in the meantime, y'all have a great day, thanks for watching, peace. Alright, here is the finished product, a new XL5 V3 Zing 2208-2150KB 5S Beasts.
is ready to go. I'm going to slap a GoPro on it, do a quick tuning pack, and then we will show you some flight footage.